Are we there yet? Oh, no, we got a long ways to go yet. No, the cache. Oh, yeah, we're at the cache. No, yeah. the name of the cache is Are We There Yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. And I guess that's kind of fitting because it's a long <laughs> drive. Let's go get that cache. side of what we were looking. Three meters. One meter. According to my coordinates, I should be standing right on top of it. And uh, no, it's not under my feet. Go that way. A little further afield, I think I found, yep, yeah, I found it. It's right under this tree, not that tree. Uh, we're there. Yahoo! We found it! <laughs> Thankfully, the bugs aren't too bad, but as we were standing there, they started to come out. More so the mosquitoes than the black flies. And because it's so unseasonably cold here, we haven't had the bugs like we thought we would have had. Although the name might suggest Labrador Retrievers came from Labrador, Canada, the breed actually originated on the island of Newfoundland. They were once called the St. John's Water Dog, or Lesser Newfoundland. We gotta go somewhere over there through this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I sure hope we can find the cache when we get there. <laughs> oh my God. Got to weave your way through the different tree parts. Holy cow! I don't think it was like this when they all this stuff wasn't here when they put the cash out. Holy mackerel! Whoa! Ouch! Well, we got to the trees. Let's get out of the stuff. Oh! Oh! Jeez! Ow! Hold on, let me get out of that. Oh, oh I found it. Yay, it's an ammo can. And it's got a nice big label, you can't miss it. Woo! Cash. This one is called the Cache at Cache River. Because the river right there is called Cache River. Let's open her up. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, and it's in great shape. And it's got lots of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Neato. Thanks for that cash. It was well worth going through all of that to get this. Yeah, that's not too bad. It is, of course, easier coming out than going in. It's always the way. And there's the sign for Cash River. Doesn't get much better than that. Caching at Cash River. What a way to start an adventure. There's more <laughs> like that to come. Did you know that Labrador, although unofficially, has its own flag? The white represents the snow, which is an important part of Labrador's culture and lifestyle. The blue represents the water, and the green represents the land. Trans Labrador Highway, otherwise known as Route 500, is 1149 kilometers long. It runs through dense wilderness for most of its length with no roadside service and limited cell service. But it is now completely paved end to end. In the U.S., only Alaska Texas and California exceed Labrador in size. It's 
It's been a long drive since we got our last cache, and we, as we're approaching Happy Valley Goose Bay, we came down into a valley with high mountains on either side, and the terrain completely changed. It's very sandy, lots of trees, and there are hunting cabins, little hunting tents all over the place. And uh, a lot of places where we were supposed to pull off to get a geocache, there's nothing but bush. Uh, right at the road's edge and it's really hard to get uh, the vehicle off the road and then there's so much overgrowth to go through so we bypass a lot of geocaches but there's a pull off we're at right now and there's a geocache supposedly in a spruce tree on a little bit of an outcrop here so we're going to try for that one. Something else we've noticed is that the temperature's gone up like four degrees and it's like eight o'clock at night so this is a bonus. Yeah it's been unseasonably cold. New spruce at eye level, but four years ago, I mean, it could have grown up, and all I'm seeing is pine cones. Well, we had to give up the ghost on that one. Can't find it, and uh, we're just gonna have to put it down as a DNF. Oh, I hate doing that. But if you can't find it, you can't find it. <laughs> so we'll have to move on to another one and leave all these bugs behind. <laughs> we finally found the bugs been lucky so far we haven't had many until now that's what happens when the temperature goes up kind of enjoyed it being a little cooler <sighs> we're on a roll <laughs> uh, didn't find the cache but the view is beautiful I'll give you that now uh, this end as we're getting closer to Happy Valley Goose Bay is not working out as well as the other side near uh, Churchill Falls Here at Goose Bay, we're ending up with an adventure lab. Yeah, because when they're finding the geocaches that are physical don't work out for you, <laughs> go adventure labbing. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, we're gonna finish up this adventure lab and we'll see you on the next episode from here in Labrador. Where will geocaching take you? you.